Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, and I'm so honored to have you here. So thank you so very much for listening. In this week's episode, we are talking about dealing with haters. And I'll explain in just a moment what I mean by haters, but I want to first give a shout out to the lovers. And so lovers, I want to say thank you very much. Lovers of the podcast, I have noticed your Apple review and thank you so very much for that kind review. I have noticed the five stars. I have noticed the comments on Facebook and the great feedback on the podcast. And so to all of you, I want to say thank you so very much. It is very meaningful to know that you are listening in and to know that this podcast is helpful. And so to all of the lovers, I want to say thank you. It does mean a lot and it does really help. Now, as far as dealing with the haters, now when I use the term haters, here's what I mean. I mean, Anyone and everyone from those who may uh, say that Reiki is crazy and practicing Reiki is crazy or evil or of the devil to those who um, maybe make inappropriate comments on or even off social media uh, on our posts or say not so nice things to us. Uh, So when I say haters, I mean anyone who might offer offer some unkind comments or some um, uh, comments that that can really uh, be challenging for us. So I'm taking a really broad term, broad view of the term haters in this podcast, because there are some common ways that we can approach any and all of these challenges. I want to first say that If you are in business long enough as a Reiki business owner, you're going to at some point have some haters. And this is just part of having a Reiki business and part of the experience. Now, I'm not saying that to dismiss it. And I'm not saying that to um, say shrug it off and move on and get over it and get used to it. I'm saying that to prepare you so that if you haven't yet had any haters, if you have a Reiki business for long enough, eventually at some point you will have some kind of hater. Now, again, remember, I'm taking a very broad definition of the term hater and haters aren't necessarily hating, (laughs) but I just want to, um, really say that, uh, at some point you're going to get criticism. At some point, someone is going to not like what you do or have negative things to say about what you do and or the way in which you are doing it. At some point, someone is going to have something negative to say about Reiki. And just know that if you haven't experienced that yet, the chances are pretty good that at some point you will. And of course, just like there's a range of haters, there is a range of the hate. And so this could be something as simple as um, an unkind comment on one of your posts to an argument in the street about Reiki, you know, to someone um, vandalizing your office. You know, we don't want to think about those things. And we, of course, don't want them to happen. And at the same time, they may very well happen. Of course, the way in which we might deal with the situation is really going to depend upon the situation itself. And so there's, of course, a range of approaches and a range of 
responses as well. I do, though, want to put the emphasis on the word response. So often when we are getting hated on, and again, in that wide range of what it means when I define hater, um, when so often we're getting criticisms, we are um, receiving unkind comments, criticisms about Reiki and uh, anything that we might experience, so often our initial reaction is to react. It's a knee-jerk reaction that is often filled with defensiveness, um, often spurred by emotion. And I first want to really encourage us to try to respond rather than to react. Reactions are very emotion-based. Reactions are very in the moment. Reactions often don't have a lot of thought attached to them, and reactions often don't have a lot of compassion, love, kindness, or understanding attached to them. Whereas responding is a means of allowing some space between our immediate reaction to the experience and what we do in response, what we do next. And so no matter what kind of hate we might get for our Reiki business journey, I want to encourage us to really strive to respond rather than to react. And I think that Reiki indeed calls us to do this, that Reiki really encourages us to cultivate responses rather than reactions. And so let us all call upon Reiki to help us to respond rather than to react. No matter what kind of experience, hate and experience, we might receive. Of course, this is not easy, and so I'm sending lots of encouragement for gentleness with yourself when, indeed, not if, but when you have those times of reaction, <laughs> because this is, of course, part of the human experience. And so when you find yourself in reaction mode rather than response mode, Please send loving kindness to yourself. Please send Reiki to yourself. Use Reiki, lean on Reiki, but please be gentle with yourself as well because we all at times on our journey, including on our Reiki business journey, come from a place of reaction rather than response. And so let us all strive to bring more and more love, kindness and compassion to our responses. So thank you for that. And so that's my first encouragement for us when it comes to dealing with the haters. My second encouragement is to look at the hating from the haters point of view. So often when people are criticizing, when they are um, bringing unkind comments, they themselves are doing it from a place of fear, a place of anger, um, and a low vibe kind of place. But that doesn't mean that we need to bring the low vibes in response. And so let us strive to bring the higher and higher vibes in response and let us strive to cultivate our own energy and to, again, lean on Reiki to help us bring high-vibe responses. And I believe that part of the high-vibe response is recognizing the low vibe from which the hater is coming. You know, because... Um, criticisms and comments, yes, they can come from a high-vibe place, but when criticisms and um, comments are coming from a high vibe place, they're different. They have a different um, wording, a different tone. 
And so let us strive to uh, come from a high vibe place in that and recognize that constructive criticism is absolutely okay. As a matter of fact, constructive criticism can be very helpful. And constructive criticism ain't always hating. <laughs> but oftentimes it's the tone, it's the way in which the message is conveyed, it's the lack of thought going into the um, uh, criticisms that make it a, a hater kind of um, vibe and a low vibe that is unhelpful and uh, ultimately often unkind as well. So let's recognize that where that person is coming from when they're offering criticisms of Reiki that are not uh, constructive because constructive criticism of Reiki is absolutely okay. You know, just because someone um, says something quote unquote negative about Reiki doesn't mean that they're a hater. It's absolutely okay to question and um, analyze and to, um, you know, bring um, a healthy skepticism to what we do and even how we do it. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But Let's make sure that we, when we do that, are coming from a place of kindness and love and compassion. And so that means that when we are responding to the haters, or even what we perceive as a hater kind of comment, let us strive to come to it from a place of understanding and openness and compassion to be able to meet that criticism in uh, our own loving kindness kind of way. And so when we get those uh, comments, those criticisms, let's first examine where they are coming from and uh, strive to bring love and compassion to that. Now, again, this is not to um, say that it's okay to be a hater. This is not to excuse the behavior. This is not to um, uh, shrug it off and say, oh, well, it's fine. This person's just in a bad place in their lives and, you know, it's okay. Not at all. Not at all. Unkind behavior, hating behavior, violent behavior, and harassing behavior is never okay. It is never okay. And so in addition to bringing the loving kindness, I also want to encourage us to meet the hater behavior with an energy that says this is not okay, but an energy that does it in a firm but loving way and not in an energy that comes at it with a swearing you bleepity bleep 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 person who do you think you are what do you mean reiki is all about loving kindness i mean how ironic right <laughs> let's show them how powerful reiki is by responding without the bleepity bleeps <laughs> but um to bring to that conversation then a firm but loving way of responding that says the way in which you are treating me is not okay. This is not acceptable. And so I'll give you an example. Let's say that um, someone is commenting inappropriately on your posts on social media. Maybe they are making um, inappropriate harassing comments. You know, we can respond and send lots of loving kindness and, oh, you must be at a place of hurting. But you know what? In that instance, I recommend just blocking that shit. <laughs> so blo delete the comment, block, that is not okay. Absolutely not okay. You have control over your own social media outlets, which means that if you're getting haters, if you're getting inappropriate comments, take control of your own social media usage and your own content that you're putting out and block, delete, 
unfriend, whatever it it needs to happen, but do that. Um, and so what that means is that let's say in that instance where you are posting, uh, you're maybe you're going live and you are receiving unwelcome and unwanted comments on your lives, including maybe of a sexual harassment nature. That is never okay. That is never okay, period. I don't care where that person is in their life. I don't care where they're coming from. I don't care what things they're going through. That is never okay. That is never acceptable. And let us too, all when we see that behavior on other people's posts, let's call that out. Let's call that out block it, delete it, bring it to the poster's attention, and let's block that person, delete them, get rid of them. There's no space for that, period, because that kind of comment is unconstructive. It is unhelpful. It is hurtful. It is inappropriate, period. And I have to say that in this kind of instance, these kinds of comments are unfortunately more frequently directed at female identified Reiki business owners than it is on male identified Reiki business owners. And so this is an unfortunate and unacceptable aspect of our culture. And so um, when we see that, let's encourage one another, let's protect one another, let's stand up and say that that kind of behavior is absolutely inappropriate, no matter what, period. Now, I also want to say that oftentimes um, our own conduct has an impact on the haters that we might get. Now, I want to preface this by saying there is no excuse for, for instance, sexual harassment. And so this is not to victim blame, and this is not to say, well, you brought it upon yourself. What were you thinking? Rather, this is saying, um, let us be aware of where we are posting our content, let us be aware of where we are um, talking about Reiki. Let's be aware of our audience. And so, for instance, when it comes to posting, um, things like ads are going to bring out the haters. Uh, that's just a, a natural, common, normal thing because your ads are reaching a wider audience than your friends and oftentimes than the Reiki community. And so just be aware that ads will bring out the haters um, as well as where you're posting your content in certain groups, for instance. Um, there are certain groups on Facebook, social media platforms that are just low vibe that if you post there, you are almost, in a sense, asking for inappropriate comments. Again, this is not to victim blame, and this is not to say that um, you know, you're asking for it. It's to say that we need to be mindful of where we're posting our content in places that might invite haters. So, for instance, if you go to a group on Facebook that is um, for um, devout Christians and you start posting about Reiki, you're probably going to get some comments that are quote unquote hater comments. You're probably going to get some comments that are telling you that you are doing the devil's work. There are pro you're probably going to get lots of comments of people praying for you and inviting you to church. Um, so be mindful of that. Be mindful of where you are posting your um, products, posting your content, and having Reiki conversations. So, you know, that goes a long way <laughs> towards helping to decrease um, running into haters. 
you know, it's the same kind of thing offline too, because haters existed before social media and um, hate happens offline too. And so let's say that you are handing out flyers for your brand new Reiki business and down around the corner is a uh, Baptist church. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just pulling things off out of the top of my head here. I can't not, I cannot say everyone that there is any one group of people that would naturally be a quote unquote naturally be against Reiki. And so to all Baptists listening who love Reiki and are Reiki practitioners, I send my apologies. I do not mean to insinuate that all Baptists hate Reiki um, or think it is of the devil, but this is just an example. And so you go there and you start before church on Sunday, handing out your flyers to everyone. Well, maybe not the best place to uh, be talking about Reiki and having Reiki conversations um, without expecting that you're going to get some pushback. And then what can happen in these instances is that we throw up our hands and say, oh, these people, they're so nasty. They're so terrible. I can't believe they acted that way. I can't believe they did that. Yes, I'm sure that um, there are ways that they could bring more loving kindness to the conversation. And how are you presenting the conversation in the first place? Where are you choosing to have the conversations and with whom are you choosing to have the conversations? And so let us remember that context is very important when it comes to these kinds of conversations. Another encouragement I have for us in dealing with haters is to, believe it or not, maybe try to find some common ground. And so let's say that someone says to you, well, you know, Reiki doesn't heal, God heals. Only God heals. And this thing that you're doing, that's not healing anyone. It's God who heals. And if I were having that conversation, I would probably say to that person, yes, yes, I agree. (laughs) <laughs> and find some common ground somewhere. And even if it's not, yes, I agree, only God heals. But in terms of the sense of, yes, I agree, you know, um, Reiki itself is maybe not doing the healing, you know, and to open up that possibility and say, I, I don't know exactly how it works in terms of the healing. I don't know exactly what goes on. It's a mystery. And you know, God is a mystery. And so it's all very mysterious. We don't have the answers. Only God knows. And so I might encourage trying to find some common ground with that person. And that often helps to diffuse the situation, diffuse the hater, um, at least to bring the conversation down a notch. Because um, what you don't want is to escalate the conversation. That's that's never helpful. That is never helpful. It only encourages us to dig in more firmly to our own beliefs. And so if that person if your response to that person who says, well, Reiki doesn't heal, only God heals, was, oh yeah, well, you know, um, oh oh, yeah, well, that's a bunch of crap and you're an idiot and how can you think that way? And to really fire a bunch of insults back at them, like hurling bombs over a wall, it's, it's not helpful. And that's not bringing a higher vibe to the conversation. So let's strive to bring higher vibes to the conversation. Um, Again, when appropriate, because there are times when it's just best to disengage and not have a conversation to just say, yep, you know what, obviously it's not for you and walk away. Oh, yeah, okay, obviously you're not interested in Reiki. Obviously it's not something you're interested in having a discussion about or at least a civil discussion about, and that's okay. You know, you do you, and I'm going to walk away. There's nothing wrong with walking away. (laughs) So don't be afraid to do that, to disengage. You know, you do not have to be a Reiki warrior and to um, stand up and fight for Reiki in every conversation. Sometimes it's just not 
appropriate. It's just not something that you're interested in and something it's it, sometimes it's just not something that is helpful. And so it's absolutely okay to walk away and not have the conversation as well. So at some point on our Reiki journey and on our Reiki business journey, you know, we have to think about it. When we are advertising Reiki as a service, when we are selling something, our advertisements, our flyers, our posts go out to places that we can't control. We cannot control what happens when people receive our messages, our advertisements. We cannot control always where they go. And so you can post a flyer in your community, for instance, but you can't control what someone writes on that flyer. You can't control if someone rips it down. And so let's know that um, at some point we just have to let go and say that when we offer a service like Reiki, there's a point at which if we send out our messages, advertise enough, reach enough people, we're eventually going to reach people that don't agree with us, that have um, unhelpful or even hurtful things to say, and let us make sure, number one, that we are physically safe. Let us make sure that we are doing all of the things that we need to do to take care of ourselves in those instances. Let's strive to bring a high vibe and to respond rather than to react. Let's cultivate our own energy and engage in high vibe practices so that we are bringing a higher vibe to the situation and that we are responding in a higher vibe kind of way. So I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes for bringing the high vibes to the haters. I also finally want to encourage us to ask ourselves how we might be the haters. You know, we always like to talk about, quote unquote, the haters, the haters, the haters. Well, let's be real. Sometimes we are the haters. And sometimes we are saying things that are unhelpful, hurtful, critical without being um, constructive. So let us recognize that sometimes we are the haters. And to notice when we are being the haters and to strive to bring more and more kindness and compassion to our experience so that we respond in a higher vibe way so that we don't react in a hater way so that we ourselves are not bringing the hater energy. So sending lots of blessings and best wishes to dealing with the haters and recognizing that sometimes we are the haters <laughs> that others are dealing with and to strive to respond in firm but loving ways to the hater energy. As always, I invite you to drop in to the Reiki Business Collective Facebook group. We have a whole group full of non-Reiki haters. So join us. Have you gotten Reiki business haters? Drop in to the Reiki Business Collective and tell us about it. Join us at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki biz. And of course, as always, you're welcome to get the free Reiki biz kit at standingstoneshealing.com slash Reiki biz kit. And yes, of course, as always, you are welcome and invited to check out the unique comprehensive build your Reiki business program. That's at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. So I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes to dealing with the haters. And I am sending again, lots of blessings, best wishes, and gratitude to the lovers. Your comments, your stars, your reviews are very, very appreciated and welcome. So thank you all so very much. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com 
slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. <laughs>